Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm an event planner at the Orange County Library System. I plan author events and writing workshops and I invited some of my writing friends to provide writing tips for you. This next one is from author Katie Golding. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Golding. I'm the author of Fearless coming July 28th from Sourcebooks Casablanca. And I'm gonna be talking today a little bit about crossing your fan fiction over into original fiction. So I originally got started as a fanfiction writer. It's where I met my critique partners. It's where I re-fell in love with writing. And I really enjoy doing it. I think it's something that every author should do at some point is writing fanfiction. Um, and crossing over these stories can be quite a big hurdle. So a couple of things that I learned in my process of doing so, and hopefully you'll have better luck than I did, so first of all is just kind of knowing your goal um, as an author what you want this story to accomplish are you looking to self-pub are you looking to go for a traditional publishing route and really kind of investigating researching what is going to need to happen in order to achieve those goals so if you're self-publishing you're probably going to be wanting to start working with freelance editors cover artists, doing research into marketing, things like that in order to give your book the best possible shot of finding readers. If you're pursuing traditional publishing, you're going to be looking towards the querying route, um, writing a query letter in order to retain the services of a literary agent and that way they can take that story and then go sell it to a publishing house for you on your path. So. First, in order to be able to really know those goals and figure out what you're going to do, you really need to understand what kind of story you have. So that's kind of the second thing is understanding what you wrote, um, reading widely in order to make sure that you know your genre, you know your age category, and you know the appropriate word counts for those types of stories because having in fan fiction we can write pretty much whatever we want which is what's so great about it but trying to sell a 250,000 word romance novel isn't gonna work out so well so really understanding those genre conventions those acceptable word count ranges is really gonna help you on your path of taking that fan fiction and making it appropriate for the publishing world, whether that's self-publishing or traditional publishing, again. The third thing is gotta make it legal. In fan fiction, at least I know I did, um, we use a lot of things like song lyrics for inspiration. The characters clearly were borrowing from published or copyrighted TV shows, books, things like that. So it's very, very important to make sure that when you're crossing over, you're doing it legally. Unfortunately, those song lyrics gotta go. Those names will have to be changed. I'm sorry, I know it hurts, but no one wants to get sued. So make sure that when you're crossing over, you're doing it legally. The fourth thing, kind of coming in right after that, is that everything that you kind of started with, this original character inspiration, those characters we love so much that just make us yearn to write, we have to forget them and we have to create something completely new. So when I was writing fan fiction, I wrote for the Vampire Diaries show and I wrote for Damon and Elena. Damon, as a vampire, could get away with all sorts of things. But once I change his name to Bob, he can't get away with so much anymore. The reader forgiveness is out the window. The understanding that readers bring into your reading, because they already know this character, they know this backstory, unfortunately all of that is gone. So it's really important that as part of your crossing over, that you're really working to create this new original backstory that matches this new character's name. So that way, even if it's Bob, they're still gonna be able to understand completely what is driving this character and what's important. The fifth thing is just don't be afraid of the revisions. You can do it, it may need to be gutted, but that's okay.
don't give up no matter what. Anyways, I hope this helps and best of luck with crossing your fan fiction over into the OF world. Thank you for watching. To learn more about writing workshops and see more videos, visit ocls.info slash writers corner. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect. Thank you.